My Star Wars Life Debt Patreon Funko unboxing video. I'm your host John Yorm and I've got a great new Funko Pop to unbox just for you. Uh, we're sticking with The Last Jedi like we did last month with the Sad Face Pork and uh, this month we have got Rose. Uh, this is number 197. Uh, from you can tell from the Last Jedi because it's got the Last Jedi decals all over it. Um, like I said, 197 is from the first wave of the Last Jedi um, Funko figures. Um, so you've got the artwork here, and of course, full artwork on the side. Uh, the full list of the first wave of the Funko Last Jedi figures there, and the window with a bit of art at the bottom. So let's crack this one open and have a look at it. Okay, in the box uh, we've also got um, the Smuggler's Bounty card, um, which is no longer part of, uh, well, it's still part of Funko, but they don't run it anymore. It's now run by Amazon, so, you know, try and keep, probably keep these in a good condition. They might be worth something in the future. And of course, at the back, we've got the Last Jedi um, artwork there and here we go I'll get Rose out oh, a little tough to get her out because it's all wrapped around the legs but there we go so this is a you know average normal kind of Funko character height uh, hero pose but it's slightly adapted uh, for her slimmer figure um, the overalls are a nice kind of grungy yellow colour and the belt's nicely detailed she's got like tools here and the buckle there and tools around here um data chips down here um things like kind of more detailing here and an orabesh um panel here so i don't know what it says because i can't exactly read read it but um knowing funko in their eye for detail it will actually be screen accurate um another patch with, well not patch, it looks like a, a code cylinders there, hood, detailed bells around the back as well and more detailing for the uh, overalls throughout and a hood, I don't know if I mentioned the hood. Um, she's got a blaster, I can't remember seeing her with a blaster when, whilst wearing this outfit in the film. Um, what I do remember is when she had the stun prod, um, but uh, I might be to just me. Just, I might just be um, not remembering it correctly. Um, the hair's nicely detailed. It's got her, you know, the, the flick uh, that she has really represents her character's hair quite well. And the ponytail at the back with a blue bobble. Um, at this point, the only thing I can really criticise is obviously these were added. These these hair, the the bangs are they bangs? I don't know. Um, we'll go with bangs. The bangs are actually stuck on separately, so they're not part of the original mould, and you can kind of just kind of tell hit around here. Um, but when you're kind of looking at it from the front on, it's not very noticeable. Um, it's a nice little figure, I've got to say. It represents the character quite well. I do know that they brought at least one more Rose Tico figure out with her wearing the First Order um, uniform from their infiltration of... Um, the supremacy um that's a nice looking figure um definitely worth it if you like a if you like having the whole run yeah um and if you just want to get the main characters rose is definitely an addition that you will want um again nicely detailed the blaster's got some nice detail as well just kind of little bits on the side here and like little um Little details on the sight, um, details around here. It just looks, it all looks really, really good. And the head's got a nice bobble to it. It bobbles quite well, um, which is what you want with a bobble head. Um, so yeah, that's it for this month. Thank you very much for watching. And thank you for your contributions to the Life Debt podcast and blog. They're very much appreciated. And I hope to get some more great content out to you guys very, very soon. So thank you very much.